Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Sam Wright. I'm Brian Allen. Glad to have you with us. Law enforcement around the region tonight mourning the loss of one of their own. As we first told you, a Moody County Chief Deputy died in the line of duty on Friday. The suspect in that case making his first appearance in court today facing the state's most serious charges. Cooper Seamworth more in our top story at 6 from Flanders. This is going to be a huge hole, not only for my office, but for our entire community and his entire family. The Moody County Sheriff's Office, consisting of Sheriff Troy Wellman and five deputies, is without one of their own. Chief Deputy Ken Prorock's passing is the second line of duty death that Wellman has lived through once as a deputy and now as a sheriff. Joseph Hook is charged with Prorock's death with one count of first degree murder and one count of aggravated eluding. Earlier that day, Hook was charged with intentional damage, stalking, and a protection order violation in Sioux Falls. Hours later, according to court documents, Hook was in violation of a no contact order and was making threats in Madison when police were called. He then took off down State Highway 34. When Pro Rock was laying down spike strips on the highway, a witness says Hook intentionally moved towards him. An eyewitness indicated he saw an intentional swerve uh, and the chief deputy was hit and killed at the scene. That witness then tried to help Pro Rock before chasing down Hook and holding him until law enforcement could arrive, an effort Wellman says everyone is thankful for. My heartfelt thank you to that witness. I know who you are. I appreciate what you did. I know that you wish you could have done more, but I want you to know that we all appreciate that you stopped to help. Hook is now facing life in prison or even the death penalty with his charges. Wellman says all of this pain and grief could have been avoided and says those running from law enforcement only make it more dangerous for everyone. I don't know what that answer is, but the right answer to whoever you are that wants to run or thinks about running, all you're doing is making it worse. Hook will be returning to Madison where he'll be held without bond. His next hearing here in Flandreau is for Friday at 11 a.m. In Flandreau, Cooper Seamer, Dakota News Now.